Book Summary by Teddy Bear Storytime Ghost Town at Sundown is the tenth book in Mary Pope Osborne's Magic Tree House series, published by Random House in 1997. This series has captivated young readers since its debut in 1992, combining elements of history, adventure, and fantasy to educate and entertain. Osborne's books are known for their ability to transport children to different times and places, providing them with historical knowledge wrapped in exciting, engaging narratives. Ghost Town at Sundown exemplifies this formula, taking readers to the American Wild West, a period often romanticized in literature and film. Through the eyes of Jack and Annie, the protagonists, Osborne explores the myths and realities of the Wild West, offering a narrative that blends fact with fiction in a way that is accessible and appealing to young readers. In Ghost Town at Sundown, Osborne draws on the rich folklore and history of the American frontier, a time characterized by cowboys, outlaws, and pioneers seeking new opportunities in the vast, untamed lands of the West. The book captures the sense of adventure and danger that defined the era, while also touching on themes such as courage, perseverance, and the importance of understanding and respecting different cultures. The narrative is a mix of action, suspense, and humor, making it a compelling read for children aged 7 to 10. Characters Jack, the older sibling, Jack is methodical, cautious, and loves to learn. He often acts as the voice of reason during their adventures and keeps a detailed notebook of their experiences. Annie, Jack's younger sister, who is more spontaneous, adventurous, and compassionate. Her curiosity and willingness to take risks often lead them into exciting, if sometimes dangerous, situations. Slim Cooley, a ghostly cowboy who once lived in the Old West. Slim is tough but kind-hearted, and he becomes an unexpected ally to Jack and Annie. Dusty, a brave and loyal horse that helps Jack and Annie navigate the dangers of the Wild West. Merlin, the enigmatic wizard who sends Jack and Annie on their missions, although he is not directly involved in this story, his influence is felt as the children embark on another adventure to gather knowledge for the Library of Camelot. Book Summary How Wild is the West? The story begins with Jack and Annie at their treehouse in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. They discover that they have a new mission, marked by a book about the Wild West. Jack, always the cautious one, expresses concern about the dangers they might face, but Annie is excited and ready for the adventure. As they begin their journey, they are magically transported to a desert landscape, complete with tumbleweeds and cacti. The atmosphere is eerily quiet, setting the tone for the adventure. Jack and Annie soon find themselves in front of an abandoned town, which seems to be straight out of an old western movie. The chapter ends with the siblings stepping into the ghost town, feeling both excited and apprehensive about what lies ahead. A ghost town at sundown. As they explore the ghost town, Jack and Annie notice signs of life from the past, an old saloon, a blacksmith shop, and a stable. The town is eerily silent, adding to the suspense. They come across a wanted poster for a notorious outlaw, and Jack explains the significance of such posters in the Wild West, where law and order were often hard to come by. They also find a piano in the saloon and, to their surprise, hear ghostly music playing. This chapter builds the tension, with Jack and Annie unsure if they are alone or if something, or someone, might still be lurking in the town. They decide to explore further, driven by both curiosity and a sense of duty to complete their mission. Slim Cooley While exploring the ghost town, Jack and Annie meet Slim Cooley, a cowboy who appears to be a ghost. At first, they are frightened, but they quickly realize that Slim is friendly and in need of their help. Slim reveals that he was a cowboy who lived during the height of the American frontier and that he has been stuck in the ghost town for years unable to move on because he has unfinished business. He needs to find his horse, Dusty, who was lost during a cattle drive many years ago. Slim's story is tinged with sadness, and Jack and Annie are moved by his plight. They agree to help Slim find Dusty, realizing that this is likely the key to completing their mission. The chapter ends with the trio setting out to find the lost horse, with Slim sharing more stories of the Wild West along the way. 
the trail. Jack, Annie, and Slim set out on a trail that leads out of the ghost town and into the open desert. As they travel, Slim shares more about life in the Wild West, including the hardships faced by cowboys, the danger of outlaws, and the beauty of the landscape. Jack takes notes in his notebook, fascinated by the history, while Annie remains focused on finding Dusty. The journey is not without challenges, they encounter rattlesnakes and have to navigate treacherous terrain. The harshness of the environment is a reminder of the resilience required to survive in the Old West. This chapter deepens the reader's understanding of the Wild West, highlighting both its allure and its dangers. The Outlaws As they continue their journey, Jack, Annie, and Slim encounter a group of outlaws who are on the run from the law. The outlaws are rough and intimidating, and they immediately see Jack and Annie as easy targets. However, Slim, despite being a ghost, manages to intimidate the outlaws with his cowboy skills and bravado. He tricks them into thinking that they are being surrounded by a posse, which causes the outlaws to flee in panic. This encounter demonstrates Slim's resourcefulness and quick thinking, as well as his deep sense of justice. Jack and Annie are relieved, but they also realize how dangerous the Wild West can be. The chapter ends with the trio resuming their search for Dusty, now more determined than ever to help Slim. Dusty the Brave After a long search, they finally find Dusty, Slim's faithful horse, who has been living in the wild for years. Dusty is initially wary of the strangers, but when Slim approaches, the horse recognizes him and the two are joyfully reunited. This moment is emotional, as it represents the resolution of Slim's unfinished business. Jack and Annie are happy to have helped their new friend, but they are also aware that this means Slim will now be able to move on from the ghost town. Dusty, though old, still has the spirit of a true Wild West horse, and he is instrumental in helping Jack and Annie complete their mission. This chapter is the emotional climax of the story, with themes of loyalty and the bond between humans and animals coming to the forefront. The Ride Back With Dusty's help, Jack and Annie, along with Slim, return to the ghost town. The journey back is faster, and Slim shares more stories of his life as a cowboy including his adventures on the cattle trails and his encounters with Native American tribes. These stories give Jack and Annie a deeper appreciation for the history and culture of the Wild West. As they ride back, they are also pursued by the outlaws from earlier, but Dusty proves his bravery by outpacing them and ensuring the group's safe return to the town. The chapter builds suspense as the trio faces their final challenge, with the outlaws determined to exact revenge. However, they manage to evade the danger, and the town comes into view just as the sun begins to set. Goodbye, Slim. Back in the ghost town, Slim thanks Jack and Annie for helping him find Dusty and for giving him the chance to finally move on. He explains that he has been waiting for years for someone to help him complete his unfinished business, and now that it is done, he can finally rest in peace. As the sun sets, Slim and Dusty fade away leaving Jack and Annie with a sense of accomplishment but also sadness at saying goodbye to their new friend. Before he disappears, Slim gives Jack and Annie his cowboy hat as a token of gratitude. The book ends with Jack and Annie returning to the treehouse, where they reflect on their adventure and the lessons they learned about courage, loyalty, and the importance of helping others. The final scene shows them back in Frog Creek, ready for their next adventure. Themes Courage and bravery, the story highlights the importance of courage, both in facing physical dangers and in confronting emotional challenges. Slim's bravery in the face of the outlaws and Jack and Annie's willingness to help a ghostly cowboy despite their fear are central to the narrative. The book emphasizes that bravery often involves overcoming fear and doing what is right, even when it is difficult. Friendship and loyalty, the bond between Slim and Dusty represents the deep connection that can exist between humans and animals, as well as the loyalty that defines true friendship. Jack and Annie's willingness to help Slim, a stranger from a different time, also underscores the importance of kindness and loyalty to others. The Wild West and American History The book provides a glimpse into the myths and realities of the Wild West, exploring the life of cowboys, the dangers of outlaws, 
and the harshness of the frontier. Osborne uses the setting to teach young readers about an important period in American history, blending historical facts with a fictional narrative to make the past come alive. The supernatural, the ghostly elements of the story, particularly the character of Slim, add a layer of mystery and fantasy to the narrative. This theme is common in the Magic Treehouse series, where the supernatural often intersects with historical events, creating a unique blend of fantasy and education. Analysis Character Development Jack learns to balance his caution with the need to take action, growing in bravery and resourcefulness. Annie continues to be the more adventurous sibling, but her compassion and quick thinking also come to the fore. Slim Cooley serves as a mental figure, embodying the virtues of the cowboy spirit, bravery, loyalty, and justice. Plot Structure The plot follows a classic adventure structure, with the characters embarking on a journey, facing challenges, and ultimately achieving their goal. The narrative builds suspense through encounters with outlaws and the ghostly atmosphere of the ghost town, culminating in the emotional reunion of Slim and Dusty. Setting and Atmosphere The setting of the Wild West is richly detailed, capturing both the beauty and danger of the frontier. The atmosphere is one of mystery and suspense, with the ghost town serving as a haunting backdrop to the adventure. Symbolism Dusty represents the enduring spirit of the Wild West, as well as the loyalty that defines true friendship. Slim's ghostly presence symbolizes the unfinished business and unresolved emotions that often accompany the past, and his journey represents the need for closure and peace. Conclusion Ghost Town at Sundown is a captivating and educational addition to the Magic Treehouse series. Through the lens of a Wild West adventure, Mary Pope Osborne teaches young readers about the values of courage, loyalty, and friendship, while also providing a glimpse into an important era of American history. The book's blend of historical facts, supernatural elements, and engaging narrative makes it both informative and entertaining. Jack and Annie's journey in the ghost town is not just an adventure in the Wild West but also a lesson in bravery, compassion, and the importance of helping others. This installment stands out for its rich historical context, well-developed characters, and the emotional depth of its story, making it a memorable and meaningful entry in the Magic Treehouse series. The End Love the book summary. Subscribe Teddy Bear's Storytime YouTube channel now. Like the video. Turn on the notifications. And leave your comments. See you in next book.